Hi, Nahal. Hi, Billy. Joe Lysett here. I have a question about writing. I find writing comedy the hardest part of the job. I love performing, I love going out on tour, but the actual constructing of the show doesn't seem to get any easier after 12 years. Have you found, Billy, that it has got any easier or have you got any tips to make it easier for me? Because I'm struggling over here. Big fan, have a lovely day. I've never written anything in my life for the stage. I'd, I've made it all up. So I go on with a small thing and add to it the following night and, and subtract and add as the nights go on. And it becomes a story. I write backwards. So I, I, I start with nothing and end up with a story. So I, I can't help you. I don't know how to write. I, I'm insanely jealous of people who can write. And I, I don't do it. Chris Ramsey, who's um, going into Strictly Come Dancing, actually, the new series oh, of Strictly yeah, Come Dancing, which, uh, which your wife, of course, did in 2010. Chris Ramsey here, massive fan. Uh, you influenced me hugely uh, in my sort of journey to start stand-up. I'll probably call you, if you don't mind, possibly one of the most influential comedians of all time. So uh, my question is, who influenced you? Chick Murray. He's a great Scottish comedian. And various, there was a, oh, I can't remember his name. Maury Amsterdam. He was a little New York comedian. He was on the Dick Van Dyke show when I was a boy. And I always found him really funny. And the, we used to go to Variety Theatre when I was a teenager. My aunt loved those t tenors and crooners. And I, she would take me along as, as her plus one. And I, I just loved the comedians coming on. There was, they're, they're mostly unknown now. Max Wall. Max Wall was, in my opinion, the best comedian that Britain ever produced. That's about the size of it. Hello, I'm Jamone, uh, and I'm a stand-up comedian, sitting down. Uh, my question for Billy Conley is, we met on Rose Street in a restaurant in Edinburgh and I was with my family and my sister and uh, you gave me an RUC badge because you had a coat on and the last time you wore that coat was in Belfast and someone gave you an RUC badge, a police badge, and you gave it to me and I lost it. Um, do you still have it? Because apparently they're worth a bit of money now. No. <laughs> I don't have it. I, I always end up with little peculiar things like that. I've got someone. I've got a Glasgow University badge and a, a, a traditional Scottish badge and, a, and a, a polar bear. I don't know where I got the polar bear, but I, I meant to take that off. Right at the, it's stuck on now. I always have a collection of bits and pieces which I donate to unlikely people, unsuspecting people. I don't have any more RUC badges. I used to have a hat that a policeman gave me in Toronto with the Canadian police thing, but I looked like Mary Tyler Moore when I wore it. The question I want to ask Billy is, is he aware of how much all comedians look up to him as like one of the greatest to ever do it, one of the best storytellers of all time? And is he conscious of how much he's admired and respected by the comedy community? I am beginning to get it now. I have been voted the best by people on television, but they don't even phone you. I've never seen the programme. John Sessions, told me I'd won. He had seen the programme and he phoned me and told me I had won the thing. And it, I found it an unbearable burden to be called the best. I, I wanted to be just one, one of the rest. And, it's, and, I, and recently it's been no secret of what people think about me and I'm very, very pleased. But I feel duty bound to be dead when they say things like that. You know, when you're in a museum in Glasgow, 
and people are saying these things. It's kind of weird. You need a statue with a cone on your head. Absolutely. <laughs> That's, you That's when you know. That's when you really know. A question, an unanswerable question. Mr. Billy Connolly, uh, I don't know if you can answer this, but why weren't you nominated for your role in Mrs. Brown? You should have been nominated. I think history has nominated you. Judy Dench was nominated, and you should have been nominated as well. Best Supporting Actor. Oscars, British Academy Awards. They should have recognised what you were doing. I think they were a bit too stunned. They weren't expecting it. They weren't expecting it. I think that's what it was. Excellent work. And so history has now nominated you. There you go. You don't need to answer it. That's good. I won't answer it then. It's, it, it, I was nominated for a SAG award, the Screen Actors Guild, but the Robin got it, Robin Williams. That's nice to think like that about me. I don't care about the, the, the award, although I think I should have got it. Nice to not just be murdered in the first 15 minutes, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> but I died. You did die. It wasn't in the first 15 minutes, though. No, I, I had a good run in that. You had a good, you had a good run. <laughs> Billy, thank you. There are those questions.